Okay, so in this video, I am going to teach you how to repair a power window that will not go up or down in a 1995 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. Now, this fix applies to um, uh, the 1993, 94, 95, and 96 Cadillac Fleetwood Broms and Fleetwood Base Sedan. It also applies to the um, Chevy Impala SS, Buick Roadmaster, and Chevy Caprice. Now, what happens is, over time, these plastic little clips tend to dry out, like the plastic material that's used dries up and um, ends up breaking apart. And this is where the metal joint of the window regulator arm snaps into. And, uh, well, this one's broken. This is what a new slider looks like. Um, you can get these for about, uh, I think, five dollars for about five of these. They'll come in a small little baggie. I got these from eBay and they're the original ones, so. Anyway, the tools that you you will need is, well this isn't really a tool but it's recommended, is ultra slick white lithium grease or any other grease. Um, I wouldn't use oil because oil will dry up and get sticky. You also need a two inch C clamp, looks like this, and you should be able to tighten it because this is what will um, snap the ball back into this hole. You can't use anything else, you have to use a C clamp. You also need a Phillips, a really big Phillips head screwdriver, depending on what car it is, but for Cadillac Fleetwoods and Fleetwood um, Brome it's recommended that you use the largest size possible because you're going to need to remove the screw that's right in there and right there and there. Um, another tool that you will need is a pair of pliers. Now, in order to replace the the old track, like or in order to replace the old clip, you need to pry the track open, um, or you could just take the window out and do it. But I would prefer to do it in while it's in the door. This will be used to pry the track open, so you can get the old clips out, and you can put the new ones in. This. This tool I would recommend to use when you're prying the door panel off. You just stick it in and you pry this way and it will pull the door, door panel off. Okay, so the first step is to remove the screw that's behind the door handle and to remove the two screws under the, the uh, whatever the hell this thing is. Okay, so now I got those screws removed. The next step is to remove this panel here that has the, the locking mechanism and the switch. So pretty much what you do is you just pull on that, slide it out. There, you just kind of wiggle it out. And uh, well, you're gonna have to pull the doorknob. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, so bear with me. Okay, so now, um, what you need to do is you need to unplug the switch here, and you can get the door, the whole door panel off. So I'm just gonna unplug it. Really, it's simple. There's that little tab there. Another tool that I forgot to mention was uh, just a flat blade screwdriver like that. So, 
You just use it and you would just put it in there and just pry up. Not too hard or else you'll break the clip. Okay, so now that is out, um, you just open the door. And this is where the prying tool comes in handy. This tool, you just stick un under the door frame and then you just pry. <clears throat> okay, I gotta do this with the ca without the camera. So bear with me one moment, please. All right, so once you get that tool in there, the door panel is pretty much ready to come off. Now what you're prying on are these little pegs here. And they pretty much go right in those little holes there. And that's what keeps your panel from flying off. So now what you need to do with both hands, you need to grab that side and that side there and just pull up. And um, you should be able to remove the door panel. Now, be warned that there are wires connected to the cigarette ashtray, if you have one, the switch, and the stupid light down here. So you gotta be really you got to be really careful. And if you're trying to pull the door closed, you should just pull it closed by the top there. Because if you pull on this, well, that piece right there, it's it's done. Like this piece right here is about $60 or more, depending on where you get it from. So, be careful when you're pulling on that. So, now I'm going to lift the door panel off and uh we're gonna see the guts and innards of this thing. Okay, so now that I got the panel off, it's sitting here on the ground. If you wanna get this whole panel taken off, you can do so, but um, I'm not gonna remove it because I don't need to do any more work. But I'm just gonna show you how to, you know, replace the clips, and it's very simple. So, um, what I would actually recommend that you would do is take the window switch out because you will need that to adjust the, the window. Um, for me, I mainly used the driver switches there. So now, what you need to do is you need to pull off this water barrier. I accidentally ripped it, so this was the first door that I did, so yeah. It's a first for everything. So, I'm just going to peel one side. And you can see, I forgot to plug in the electric locking mechanism. Tee hee oops. Okay. So now, ew. when you're replacing a clip, This right here is the um, regulator arm, and this snaps into the plastic clip that's on the track there. You can just, oh, you can barely see it. It's right there. Now, in order to get that piece out, you need to pry the track open, which is why I unplugged this, because this was getting in the way. So, with your pliers, you need to pry the track open, just like I have done. You pry the track open right there, or you could pry it over here, which is kind of easy on this side, but um, the reason why I didn't do this side is because this clip here hasn't broken yet. So I thought, well, don't fix what ain't broken. On this side, the clip had broke, so um, I had to pry it open on this area. Now, once you pry the track open, I would use your pliers 
and you would just stick it in the opening of the track. Where, where's the camera here? I would stick it in the opening of the track, but on this side though, and just hammer the clip out. And then, what I would do after that is I would put this clip right in the opening here, and then I would use my needle nose plier and then hammer it onto the track. And uh, it's very simple to do. Now, after that, once you get the clip onto the track, I would recommend that you would lubricate it in, um, in grease. So that way it can move freely across the track. So it's not um, hitting any rough spots. Now at the very end, and this is very, very tricky to do because it requires you to hold the window up without it falling in. Anyway, you would put your C-clamp in like that. And then you would start to tighten it. And what it would do is it will grip onto the, the window and the, the track. And you gotta line it up right where that dot is. And after you keep tightening it, the little ball on this arm will snap right into the track or into the, the slider and then you're back in business. I forgot to mention one more thing in the video. Some of you may be wondering, well after prying the track open what do we do afterwards after installing the clip? Well once you've installed the window clip aka window roller onto the the track Normally, people would close the track by using the pliers and bending it back into the right position. In this case, you don't have to bend the track back in place. You can just leave it pried open the way it is. Only because once you roll the window down, the arm, like the window regulator arm, won't go back that far. So it's okay to leave it pried open like that. Um, it's also good to have it pried open because if the clip breaks again, it's easier to get the clip out and you can install a new one and you don't have to close the track. So just leave the track pried open and you'll be fine. Now I just want to let you guys know that if you decide to do this yourself using the C-clamp, I just want to let you know that there is a risk that you may break the window because it all depends on how you have this positioned and how tight you're twisting it. Now luckily for me I didn't break any of the the glass and I didn't break it on that side either so I I was lucky this time so it's very simple to do um, the one thing that I wish that I had done was put some tape along the metal ridges here because it will cut you. Like the door frame will cut you. Um, like, luckily the cuts on my hands have healed up somewhat. There's a few scratches, but nothing major. Um, so yeah, like I would recommend that you that you would put tape all around the sharp edges here because <laughs> it will hurt so yeah I'm gonna plug this back in there so now I think my doors should lock properly good now after reconnecting everything before putting the door panels back on Try putting the windows up and down, testing everything, make sure that everything's working properly. Because if you put the door panel back on and then find out that you can't get the window down from the front end of the car, then you gotta rip the whole door panel off again.